Hello people, in today's video we're going to see how to change the sync setting and the clock settings for your TD3. Talking about sync settings, we can change it in two ways, the first one using the internal sync mode, the second method requires its software and we're going to see how to use it later on in this video. So let's start with sync mode. As you can see, for the first four keys on the keyboard, we have int, MIDI, USB and trigger. So we have four sync sources, internal, MIDI, USB and trigger. From key five up to eight, we have the clock rate. The lowest value is one PPS, which stands for one pulse per second. Then we have two PPQ, which stands for two pulses per quarter note, then 24 and 48. The TD3 will by default set to 48, and I highly recommend you to stick to this high value if you want to preserve the best time resolution. To enter sync mode, make sure that no pattern is playing, then press and hold back and next. Now, as you can see, the entire keyboard turned red and we have only three seconds to change settings. So I have internal clock source and 24 PPQ and I want to change it to 48, so 48. To install the software, go to Behringer.com, then you can search for TD3. You can select your version. Under product library software and here you can choose your Behringer synth tribe um, depending on your operative system. Once synth tribe is installed you can plug in your TD3 using the USB connection. The TD3 will show up then get started. Under general clock source internal MIDI USB and trigger. If your TD3 is connected via USB and you apply any changes here, you won't need to directly save those changes. That being said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao ciao!